Bonjour! In the following videos, we are going to talk about relative pronouns. In this video, we will learn what a relative pronoun is and focus on the relative pronouns que and qui. So, what is a relative pronoun? A relative pronoun is a type of pronoun that is a type of word that replaces a noun or a noun phrase. It is used mainly for avoiding repetition. For instance, my sister is called Charlotte, she is 35. She is a personal pronoun. Relative pronouns are used in dependent clauses called relative clauses. The particularity is that not only they replace none or none phrase from the main clause, but they also link together the main clause and the relative clause to form one sentence. An example will make things clearer. The man who lives next door is American. Imagine that you have two sentences. The man is American and the man lives next door. With the relative pronoun who, I have connected them and turn them into one sentence and I have avoided repetition. There are many different relative pronouns in French. The choice of a relative pronoun depends on its grammatical function in the relative clause, for instance, subject, direct, object, and so on. In English, there is some flexibility in the construction of relative clauses. For instance, you can say the student I am talking to studies low. Or, more formally, the student to whom I am talking studies low. In the first sentence, the relative pronoun is implied. In the later, the pronoun is explicit and is preceded by the preposition to. In French, the structure corresponds to the English formal structure. L'étudiant à qui je parle étudie le droit. The relative pronoun que, or qu apostrophe before a vowel or a silent h, is used as a direct object. In English, you can use that for things, or who, whom for people, or nothing at all. In French, you always use que for both people and things, and the pronoun is compulsory. For instance, Le chanteur que j'adore est espagnol, the singer whom I love is Spanish, or the singer I love is Spanish. So que is the direct object of adore. La photo que je regarde est belle. The picture that I am looking at is beautiful, or the picture I am looking at is beautiful. Que is the direct object of regard. In formal text, the word order of the relative clause can be que plus the verb plus the subject. We have an inversion. For instance, la découverte qu'a faite ce savant est remarquable. The discovery that this scientist made is outstanding, or the discovery this scientist made is outstanding. Any past participle agrees with the direct object. Therefore, you need to check the antecedent of que. The antecedent is an earlier word, phrase or clause, to which another word, especially a following relative pronoun, refers back. So, in our previous example, la découverte qu'a faite ce savant est remarquable. Fait is feminine singular because it agrees with the direct object que which replaces la découverte. Qui is used as a subject of the relative clause. It is used for both people and things. For instance, j'ai un frère qui s'appelle Bruno. I have a brother who is called Bruno qui est le subject of the verb s'appelle. J'ai une voiture qui est rouge. I have a car that is red. Qui is the subject of the verb est. Now watch the next video for other relative pronouns.